Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. I am still a little bit under the weather. My nose, there's like so much pressure right here. Ugh. I hate being sick so much, but thank you guys for being patient with me while I was like sick and dying in my bed and not filming. Today, I wanted to do a review slash first impression slash tutorial using the Patrick Star X Mac collaboration. I have the beautiful box right here for y'all. Let's open it up. Look at this guys, look at how cute this is. Oh my god, I'm so proud of Patrick's. So in this collection, we have the MAC Patrick's Powder. I'm really excited for this. We have two eyeshadow quads right here, which are very, very beautiful. I will definitely be using these today. We have three lip liners. We have three lip glasses, which are MAC's lip gloss. And then we have three lipsticks here. So I'm really excited and really happy for Patrick because this is his first like huge makeup collaboration. And I feel like this is Mac's first huge makeup collaboration as well. I know that they did lipsticks with Laura and Gabriel, but this is like the first time they've ever done like a full line with an influencer, I feel like. And I'm very, very proud of Patrick. I think that he deserves this 110%. I said on my last unboxing that Patrick has been one of those people who have literally treated me the same regardless of my number, regardless of my following, regardless of any of that bull crap. So I'm very, very proud of him. And I think that this is an amazing accomplishment and I just have nothing but great things to say about Patrick. So I'm very excited to get into this and start reviewing and start using. So let's prime our eyelids first. I'm gonna be taking Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Pine Nut. And let me tell you guys something. These concealers are amazing. Do not sleep on these. I said in my video reviewing these that they reminded me of Shape Tape and I think Laura Lee literally just tweeted that the other day too. So I'm just like, guys, I'm telling you. And then I'm just taking my beauty blender and kind of blending this into the eye. Get away those gross ass veins. Also, if I still sound like sick, it's definitely because I'm still sick. <laughs> I'm like blowing my nose every five seconds. All right, so let me zoom you guys on in so we can get a closer look at our eyes. So this first eyeshadow quad here is called Glam AF and we have one shimmer shade and four mattes. This is beautiful because it's a neutral eye palette and you guys know neutrals are so like, they're just so awesome and so easy to work with and you can really dress them up or dress them down however way you want. Let me read you the prices of these. I have a whole pamphlet over here. So these eyeshadows are going for $32 each, and then we also have one other one over here, which is called Goal Getter. This one's really cute. This one has more of a warm, like, glam feel to it, I feel like. You have that really pretty bronzy gold. You have some red burgundy tones. So I'm going to try my best to use both palettes. You know what? I'm going to take this shade right here which I don't know the name of it, but it's like a white kind of base, and I'm just going to dust this all over the eye. Just, you know, just get it everywhere. Just kind of set this eye. Ooh, it really brightens up the eye a bit, huh? I low-key want to go for like a cut crease here, so let's try that. I haven't done like a traditional cut crease on my channel in a while, so I'm going to take this shade right here in the Goal Getter palette. Ooh, and I'm not really noticing too much fallout, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. And I'm just going to pop this right in the crease right here, just as our transition shade. Ooh, this is a really nice, rich color. So this first shade is blending very nicely. This can kind of be a little bit messy because we're going to be going in with our cut crease in a minute, so you don't have to go, like, too, too insane over here. So taking this more like, I would say, defining brush, I'm gonna go back into the Glam AF palette and I'm gonna take this more warm tone brown and I am going to start to carve out a little bit of the cut crease. Just kind of get that defining shape of my eye first. Cut creases are really fun in my opinion. I love doing them. I haven't done one in so long. Kind of just get that defining Factor, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. So far these matte shades have been very easy to work with. 
which is always nice. And then you can start to kind of tail out the end just ever so slightly. So it looks like a disaster area right now, but it's gonna come together, I promise, promise, promise. So I'm gonna take this palette right here and use the more darker red. This is a really gorgeous color. And I'm just gonna basically follow that same pattern we have been doing here. And when we clean it up with concealer in a little bit, you'll be able to see like a lot more of the cut crease come to life. So don't worry too much right now. But Dude, these are really gorgeous shades. I'm really enjoying working with them. So the thing with cut creases is you have to be like super patient and have a lot of time because if you, you can't really rush a cut crease. Like you need to be able to like sit here and blend for a hot minute. So I'm taking my Morphe M433 and I'm kind of just blending the edges together so that it's more like seamless looking. But so far, these shadows are really performing beautifully. The only thing I have to say is like, if you are someone who is a neat freak or like clean freak, the white packaging might bother you, but it really doesn't bother me. Like my eyeshadow palette is white and Jaclyn Hill's eyeshadow palette is white. It really doesn't bother me that much, but I did just want to point that out. It's not horrendously dirty and it's a very easy like fix. You could just literally wipe your fingers around it and it's like clean as a whistle. So just wanted to point that out just in case. Okay guys, so I still have some more blending to do, but I'm just going to be taking some concealer I have on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to be cleaning up our cut crease, like so. So you guys see, once we have that concealer down, it really, really, really brings the whole look together. I know I was looking crazy there for a second, I got a little nervous. <laughs> I haven't done a cut crease in a really long time. While the concealer is wet, I'm just wiping off my brush. We're going to lay down some shadow while it's wet. So this is my Morphe M224. I'm going to take this gold shade right here. Oh, yeah. And let's pack it on. Oh, my God, that is so pretty. Wow, that's gorge. So you're just gonna be basically tapping it on the concealer, like following that whole kind of layout we have going down. I like to tap it just so I don't like wipe off any of the concealer. Wow, these colors are really pretty together. Patrick, you did such a good job with these colors. Okay guys, so I really like the way that this came out. The shadows so far were very, very easy to blend. I tried to use as many as I could. I really, really liked them. If you guys only want like one palette, like if you're like, oh, which one do you like better? Totally this one. This is the Goal Getter. I love, 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 love this one. That gold color is beautiful. The burgundy, love it. Both shadows are great, but if you can only get one and you're like, which one? Probably this one. I love this. Oh, and can we just talk about the little holographic detailing? Like, I love it. It's so Patrick. I'm going to do my eyeliner, zoom y'all out, and let's get on to the face and the lips and the other good, good stuff. Also, while I'm doing my eyeliner here, I did just want to say I don't have any fallout on my face. The shadows didn't have a lot of kickback at all. I know that that's very important to some people. Me personally, I really don't care if there's fallout. That's why I always do my eyeshadow first. As long as you can blend and it works, you know what I'm saying? But these shadows really didn't have a lot of fallout and I love the way that they blended and performed. And now that I have this wing on, I'm like, ooh, girl, I really like this. Guys, I'm so crazy. I got a little extra and added some glitter to the cut crease. <laughs> I use the Heavy Metals from Urban Decay. This is the shade Midnight Cowboy. But let's continue on here. I'm going to use, I have Self Tanner on right now, so I'm going to use a foundation that's a little bit darker than Norm. Where's my foundation? If you guys saw my desk right now, you would be like, oh, it's a disaster. Shit, what am I doing? We got a prime, who am I? Okay, so I'm taking my Smashbox, oh my God, I'm almost out of it, Photo Finish Primer. And I put a lot of primer on because I just like primer. I love the way it feels. And I'm just going to apply it all over. And I also kind of drag it down my neck a little bit because I do kind of hit my neck every now and then with some foundation. 
God, it is so annoying, like, having a stuffy nose that, like, you want to blow every five seconds and then having makeup on. It just is not a good combo. Oh, and the lashes I am wearing as well are from Lily Lashes. These are my girl, Arika's. This is amazing. I love these lashes. They are very, very voluminous and glamorous. Okay, so my foundation is the Hourglass Foundation. This is the shade Golden. I'm just going to apply some streaks here like I normally would. And then I'm taking the Morphe Y6 and I'm just going to buff this into the skin. This brush is really awesome for applying some foundation if you are in the need for a new foundation brush. Get your ears too. Don't make that mistake. I've done that so many times and my ears are like a different color and I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, so I figure, you know, since we're going to be using Patrick's powder, I might as well like just do my concealer and stuff on camera. So I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Pine Nut Concealer and I'm just going to apply it like so. I usually like to wear a lot of concealer, especially when I'm sick like this, because <laughs> your girl's face is all red. And then to contour, I'm going to use the Kylie concealer as well. This is the shade Almond. I love this shade to contour with. It's very, very pretty. You don't need too much because these are very pigmented, so I just kind of do some lines. And then I'll just kind of swipe up here. Okay, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender really quick and start to blend all of this out. Okay, she is blended, so let's use the Patrick's powder! I'm so excited for this. Patty's powder! Well, first of all, I love the packaging. It has that gorgeous hollow right there as well. It has like a very like frosted feel to it. And I like that. This feels very luxury as well. So the price for Patty's powder is $34 and $38 in Canada. Oh, and also this collection is available now. It was actually available on my birthday, December 14th. So yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Okay, so this has more of a pinky kind of finish to it, if you guys can see. It's very hard to see on the camera, but it does have a slight pink tint to it. So I wonder how this will look on my skin. So let's try. And I'm also going to take a photo with flash so you guys can see if there's flashback. I highly doubt it, though. I'm using my Morphe E48 brush. So let's dunk on into this. So the powder feels very smooth on my hands. I can't tell if it has a scent because I'm sick and can't smell anything, so I'm sorry. <laughs> let's blend out any creasing that may have formed. Let's go in. Ooh, wow. This feels very lightweight. Okay. Patty's powder. Okay, girl. Wow. This feels very, very nice. I'm going to just apply this all over. Wow, I'm very impressed. You know how sometimes if you use like a Laura Mercier translucent powder or something, it feels a little bit heavy because it has talc in it, and this is very, very lightweight feeling. Wow, and it's almost like dissolving into the skin, which is very nice. Wow, Patty! How you doing, girl? Okay, shit. Let's do the other eye. Honestly, I expect nothing less from Patrick. Like, he's such an amazing artist. Of course he's going to come out with some bomb powder. I'm just kind of setting my whole face with this. Just anywhere. All right, so let me let this sit for a minute, and then I'm going to swipe it off. So far, I'm really liking the way it feels. It's very, very lightweight, which is huge for me when I'm using a powder because I hate when you wear makeup and it just feels heavy on your face. You know, that's like the worst feeling ever. So let's let's let this sit. Okay, so let's now wipe this powder away. This is my Morphe E3 brush, and I'm kind of just lightly dusting it all over the face. So I feel like it will make the most sense for me to test if there's flashback at the end of this look because I want the powder to kind of sit into the skin for a little bit more. So while we're waiting, let's go ahead and move on to some bronzers and stuff. Gonna go in with my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. And this is the Kylie Number no. 5 brush. I really, really fell in love with this brush for contouring. I love the way it deposits the product. 
Wow, this powder, I feel like it literally created a filter. Like, I feel like I have no pores. I have never seen my skin look like this. That's amazing. Okay, Patrick. And then I'm switching over to the Kylie number no. four brush and again using MAC Give Me Sun. I'm just going to use this to bronze some of the larger parts of my head, like my forehead. God, I am so impressed with this powder. Oh my God. I just love the way that everything is kind of sitting on my face. It looks so beautiful. Get our chins as well. Eee. So these are Patrick's lipsticks and you can see they have his signature and holographic right here with the MAC logo. We have three colors for y'all and each of the lipsticks are $17.50. So let's open and swatch. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Also, can I just say that like, Mac, you really need to put out a perfume that smells like your lipsticks because this is like the best smelling lipstick ever. This one right here is called She Better Work. So let's swatch on the back of my hand. Mac has like the best lipsticks ever. That's a really pretty pink. Let's swatch the next one. Ooh, this is like a nice kind of warm tone here. This one is called Mama Star. Oh, Mama Star. I love Patrick's mom. She's so cute. Okay, let's do another swatch here. So pretty. These are really pretty colors. Definitely very universal. And the finishes on each. This one is a satin and the first one we swatched was a matte. And the last shade we have is called Patrick Wu, which is a matte. And this is a red. Dude, what is this piece of hair doing here? It won't like hide. I keep trying to tuck it behind my ear and it's like, nope. So these are really, really beautiful shades. I love Mama Star. Mama Star I think is my favorite one. I'm gonna probably wear that one. Let's swatch the lip glasses, which I feel like these are perfect because you can actually pair them up with the lipsticks. And these go for $17 each. So this one is called She Better Work Glass. So basically this is a nice like lip gloss or glass to pair with the lipsticks. So this one is She Better Work. It's a nice like pale pink. Then we have Mama Star. Which is, ooh yes, that's a really pretty color. How you doing, Mama? And then we have Patrick's Woo. So there you guys go. So these are perfect to pair up with your lipsticks if you'd like. And we also have some liners, so let's go through those. So these pencils are $17.50 each. They look slightly darker, like just from the outside packaging, than the other lipsticks, because I feel like Patrick kind of does his ombre lip. He's like very known to do that. So let's look at these pencils and I love the white with the holographic. I just love the branding of this. It's very, very Patrick and very pretty. So let's do a swatch. This one is called Edge to Edge. We'll do a little pencil swatch. Very pretty. Let's do this one. This one is called Mahogany. Oh, I think is I think this may be a MAC pencil already. I've used it before and I really, really like Mahogany. That's really pretty too. Sorry guys, these are like the most horrendous swatches. And then we have Brick. Yeah, there we go. And honestly, MAC has some of the best lip liner pencils I've ever used in my entire life. So if you are going to like ball out and get yourself a nice lip pencil, I definitely recommend MAC. I think they have the best out of every any brand out there. I love MAC lip pencils. I really wanna wear Mama Star. This is such a pretty color. All right, so let's use, let's use Mahogany to go along with this. Let's start lining. And then let's go in with my Mama Star Lippy. This is a beautiful, beautiful lip color. Let's finish up our lower lash here. I totally forgot about it. I'm like, something's off here. <laughs> yeah, it's because I don't have my lower lash on. So I'm gonna pick up this palette here. I'm gonna take this shade and smoke it on the lower lash. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look here. Oh my god, I am feeling myself and I love the way that this makeup came out. I think the powder is amazing. So let's take a flash and see if there is flashback. No, there's no flashback. Here, let me zoom in. Look, there's no flashback. That's awesome. Oh my God, it's like Inception. <laughs> Guys, I am so proud of Patrick for this collab. I think everything has been amazing. Patrick's powder is definitely my favorite out of everything that I've tried on. I loved Mama Star, I loved the eyeshadow. Everything you could tell really Patrick put his heart and soul into and I'm so, so happy for him. Again guys, I believe this collection is available like right now. I totally am obsessed with this powder. This may be my new, this may be replacing my Laura Mercier. Patrick, I need about a thousand more of these, please. My God, I hope that this isn't limited edition. I'm gonna be really, really upset. <laughs> So yeah guys, I totally totally recommend it. I think everything is very beautiful and very elegant and I love the way that this makeup look came out. So that being said, if you guys like what you see here, make sure to subscribe. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Leave me a comment down below what you think of this collection, if you've bought anything yet, if you're going to, if it's on your Christmas list. Alright guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.